6 in the morning and I'm walking in Vienna to the train station to do a little day trip to Budapest. Okay, I made it to the train station. It's literally just a walk across from the Adina Hotel. And I'm here super early because I was nervous I wouldn't be able to find it. So I'm just waiting for the train and I'm going to finish my makeup. So Budapest will be my country number 25. So that's so exciting. To the Budapest train station, and now I'm going to take an Uber and explore around. Okay, just kidding. <coughs> Bobby. <coughs> just kidding. They don't have Uber here. <coughs> and most people take things only in euros and not cards. So I have my wonderful taxi driver, Jill. <laughs> and I. I'm just going to pay him for the day because it's just a lot easier to get around with wine instead of trying to catch them. So first we're going to go to the other side. What is the other side is Buda. Buda. Buda's other side, Budapest, which is really pronounced Budapest, is two sides, Buda and Pest. So we're going to go to the first side first, the Buda side. Just panoramic view. From the river, this side is Buda, and this side is Pest, where we came from. There's also a really nice hike you can do up here, which I'm not going to do today because I only have the day here. Here is the Parliament Building, or Sakas. So beautiful, it looks stunning from the other side of the river. Finally, a paper house to you. Hi. 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 There's also a little zoo in this park where we're going to the thermal spa. So I'm at the thermal baths and spa in Budapest. And it is the largest thermal bath in Europe. I bought a towel tickets, regular tickets to get in for like standard admission is like about $10 and the towel was about the same or you can bring your own towel. If you forget anything, you can buy swimsuit, towels, flip-flops, and even wine. It's so gorgeous and relaxing here and they have a full spa where you can get massages, you can do it with a friend, they have the sauna and of course the thermal bath. And there's some swimming laps on the other side also, but it's super cool. So the thermal bath has a ton of minerals and things that are really good for fighting inflammation, for your joints, and respiratory issues, which I will link all of that in my blog, make sure you follow waterandhills.com, and I will be typing all of that out, but it says to soak for at least 20 to 30 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to go to the thermal bath. 
awesome is they have swimsuit dryers. Now I'm walking around the park and there's this beautiful castle in the same park, which I'm gonna go see now before I go to the New York cafe, which is more further down into the city. So there's a lot of other things to do in this park besides just going to the thermal baths and spa. And there's a couple castles. I'm gonna go see one now. And then you have Hero Square, which has all of the former kings of Budapest lined up and it's very beautiful and so I'm gonna wander around the park and kind of check everything out before I go back into kind of the shopping and walking area in the city. Okay so I stopped to eat at the castle and I'm gonna try some goulash. hope I am saying that right which is a Hungarian dish. Super good, especially after going to the thermal bath. This is amazing right now. Here we are at Hero Square. Transportation, let's see how it goes. No, no, okay, that's not good. So you put one in here. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, okay. Bye -bye. thank you. 
All right, this is definitely different than New York City. Okay, I somehow figured out the subway, but it was really confusing. I feel like it was way harder than New York. I googled best restaurants to try in Budapest, and this restaurant called Rosenstein came up for traditional Hungarian food, so we're going to try it. And conveniently, it's right next to the train station, so I'll just hop on my train right after. Can't wait to try this. It's catfish with paprika. Paprika is a huge thing here in Hungary. This is a cute little family owned restaurant. They're so nice here. I'm excited to try it. Dinner was amazing. I am about back to the train station now to catch my train back to Vienna. Make sure you watch that vlog and follow me on Instagram to see everything from my trip and subscribe to my travel blog so that you can see more details on there. Thank you guys for watching.